anything happens. Okay, today we are doing ripped core. That's what I called it because we're doing hit circuits followed by Tabata. So we're doing four sets of a hit and four sets of a Tabata. So we're gonna do um, a lot of repetitions, but this is good. We got some weight too. I have uh, 15 pound dumbbells, sliders, and five pound dumbbells. And I'm so bummed. I planned this workout because I was dying to do decline um, canoe rows on my decline bench. And I forgot I'm gonna be up north. So I don't have a decline bench up here, which is fine, because now I can show you what I'm gonna do. But if you have a decline bench, one of the core moves that I was planning on doing was in a decline um, is to do the canoe rows, leaning back and rowing and leaning back. And see, I love that on a de decline, but we can do it modified just like I'm gonna have to now. Um, have your decline bench ready and sliders. I have my uh, fuzzy socks that I will be slipping over the, my feet. I buy these super huge like fuzzy socks that are like at the dollar store, super cheap. And if you have hard floors, I'm gonna do mine right here. And I'm gonna do the mine on the floor. So we're gonna do a hit circuit that's gonna be four exercises repeated four times, then a Tabata, and then we're gonna do a hit circuit, and then a Tabata, and then we're gonna finish it with another. Well, no, no, we're not. We're not finishing it with another hit circuit. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. Okay, we are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to look. I'm like, I forgot. I'm like, I forgot. Okay, so there's three hits, two Tabatas, whatever. We're, we're, we're going. I got my music ready. I got my timer ready. All right, we're all good. Except for it doesn't recognize my face. Great. Okay. Side stop. Wave your arms. Sit. Give me insoles. Insoles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hamstring pull back. Go 
one more time. Eight, seven, six, five. Now just twist. Six, seven, march. Okay, not a lot of cardio in this one. There's only a couple in the hit circuits. The Tabatas are gonna be explosive movements for core. So, first up is the hit. You're gonna need five, a 15 pound dumbbell for that decline paddle row. I'll be putting my foot up on uh, my cushion and doing it from there with my feet elevated. If you want to just stay on the ground and paddle back, you can do that as well, okay? And then sliders, we're gonna do twisted knees in. We're gonna alternate, so I'm gonna get these ready. Timer's going. First one up, two crisscross seal jacks, and then four high knees. Two seal jacks, and then four high knees, or you can jaw for four. Go. Two, you can do high knees, you can do crisscross or no crisscross. Here's your options. No impact. Just cross like this. Or just do a jab and a jaw. I'm gonna show you upper level. Crisscross. High knee. So I showed you all the different ways. Done. Okay. Decline panel row. I'm going to have my feet elevated. And I'm pulling back like a row in a canoe. Row it back. If you want to put on your foot something or put your feet underneath the couch, pull it back and row. I can get deeper by woo! Martha, you are with us. You better be. No excuses, girl. Pull it back. Row. Row. It's a heavy paddle. I wish I had my decline bench. Woo! <laughs> Done. We have four mouths. Flyers, what's the knee? Go. Twist the knees to the side. Side. Okay, we're gonna extend, alternate extending legs out and back. Boat pose, sorry. So, alternate, back, out, back, out, and back. Modify, put your hands back here if you want to, and if you can, tap, up, tap, up. Or, here's another modified, 
push it out and back. Push it out and back. On the elbow. These are all the options. I'm gonna show you the modifications only on the first round. Tap. This is another option. Tap. You decide what you can do. Otherwise, the balance is hard to extend it out and back. Okay, done. There you go. All four moves. Now I'm gonna do it how I need to do it. And if I need to modify, I'm gonna modify. Crisscross jacks, go. in my hands. All right. We're in round three. Go. Jack. Oh, again? Four rounds, Jennifer. Oh. I know. That was exactly how I feel. I've been holding on to 
we're working upper and lower on this explosive movement. Round three, coming at you. Go. Swing up. All right, so sounds like a mouthful. I'm just going to show you this one. Set. Let's go. Hang on. Oh, we're going to do... I'm trying to look... My, I hate when my phone doesn't recognize my face. Hello? Oh. Is it all one side or we all... All one side, and we're going to do 
we're gonna do the other side and the, the third one. Okay, so we sandwich it. And we need a 15 pound dumbbell for a full sit up. Okay, so first one on the gate is the one I just showed you. Right side only here. Up, extend, down dog. Up, extend, down, down dog. on that expansion, come back to a plank, extend, sorry you can't see my feet, but my chair will just slide back, done, my chair will end up sliding back if I pull it off anyways, so, although, I don't know, okay, up and over, and two punch out, up and over, one, Two, other leg, up and over. One, modified, punch, punch. Lift the knee up, cross it over, tap it. You don't have to jump it. Up, over, up. Okay, that's modified. Otherwise, you can do You can pop it if you want. Done. Okay. Cross under the other one.
Pump those arms. Other side.
Okay. Right pause then, last round. I love the down dog. It's like a little extra nice little stretch. Push back. In, up. Extend and push your hip up. Back down. Down dog. Done. All right, this is our fourth round. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be happy to say goodbye to this one. Go! coming out 16. real quick. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be easy peasy as far as mentally. Mentally easy peasy. Don't forget I told you these tomatoes are explosive movement, explosive crunches. So we're going to do the side oblique crunch. Okay. You have options and I'll show you. But when we go, because I want to go, I just want to go. All right, here we go. Eight rounds, 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's go is right, baby. We have a right left side. Bend knees. Go. Oblique crunch looks like this. I'm lifting upper and a little bit of the lower. Not, not tilting the legs up like this. Tilting the legs up like this. Modified. Here we go. You can put a knee up right here and go crunch. 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 Okay. Or, oh, my husband has low power. Hang it, John. Other side. Other, yeah. Other side. Here's another modification. 
Just reach. Don't lift the lower with it. Just reach. Also, no, I'm showing all the lives right now. Side bend on your knees or standing. Okay, this is another option. All right, then we're on the third side. Right? Second. Oh, already? Third, yes. Okay, switch. Man, this is going to go by fast. Is this the bottom of the second? Okay, I have no idea where I'm at because I did too much talking and modify showing. So I'm just gonna flip flop till it goes off. Wherever I end up, I end up. Stand the high end, I'm not relaxing. My legs on the ground, go. Stop, I need, stop. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm at, Jen. I, I switched, but I probably should have switched, whatever. I'm screwed up. I set my timer, I'm just gonna rely on that. Every time I hear it go off, I'll flip. I somehow, you know me, managed to find a way. It's a constant tension on the oblique. Constant tension. Done. It says we're on five. time for 55 but here we go we're gonna do it all right this one's gonna be fun fun all right five pound dumbbells for the circuit the whole circuit okay 16 rounds there we go not that long here we go it's a back swing and a slam all one side Swing, remember, pivot. And then a slam, one side. We'll do the other one on the round, the third interval. Or no, the third exercise. Okay. Swing, slam, swing. Go. You don't have to hop if you don't want to. You can just do this. And if you use one pound or just clench your fist, it's start and stop, start and stop. Land it. Land it. It's like a battle rope. You're slamming the battle rope or the medicine ball. Slam the ball. I love 
this one. The back swing really works your core. Done. Okay. Bicycles with the dumbbells if you can. Hang on to 
that dumbbell. I'll never forget, I almost lost my dumbbell doing a dumbbell swing. That would not have been pretty. against the punching bag, punching bag.
and you're just keeping your feet hovering and your arms with a little additional weight. Ah, oh, done. Okay. Keep going. We're not done. I'm setting the music again. Sorry. That was our one hour. Sorry. Go. Bat. Slam. Lift the 
knees. Take it around. And hang on to that knee with the opposite hand. Flip over your shoulder. Flip the knees. Grab it. Opposite hand. And look over your shoulder. Flip the knees. Take it around. Hang on to that knee with the opposite hand. Flip the knees. Take it around. Hang on to that knee with the opposite hand. Flip the knees. Take it around. Hang on to that knee with the opposite hand. Flip the knees. Take it around. Hang on to that Ah, come into a natural squat position. Whatever your feet are in, that's fine. Just balance right here. Hold it right here. This is a great tension release from your lower back. Oh, that feels good. Rise up, rise up. Here we go. Exhale. Step it out. Big inhale. Exhale. Guess what? We're done. Yay! Do a little dance party. Shake it out. All right. Woo, 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 woo.